I'm going to measure the height of where five gallons is on a six and a half gallon carboy. Sixteen cups per gallon. So I'm going to start dumping it on in there. I do have a four cup measuring cup, so I'll get her about as exact as I can. I'm surprised I couldn't find a very easy answer on the internet to about how high it is. And granted, you know, the glass thickness and depending on who's made it, it might be a little bit different. But anyhow, that's it. I'm going to measure it up and then we'll add her to the video. All right, I pretty much got her graduated out at this point. I decided to put all the markers on all the way from a gallon up to seven gallon, although I believe they call this a six and a half gallon carboy. I'm sure I'm assuming they're talking when you get to this point right here, right at the the break of the, uh, the carboy. Uh, again, so the measurements are to the top of the bottles or the top of the, the water, the watermark there because my tape isn't completely straight, but hey, at least we get some kind of a guideline here. So here we go. For those of us wanting to know uh, where we are at any particular measurement, I'll go ahead and just slowly, gradually go up and you can kind of see where you are in height on the carboys in order to get the measurement right. Now the, the big one there looks like it's about, you know, wiggle a little bit, um, looks like 10 and 3 eighths roughly, and then on up, oh, I keep moving. My countertop does not have a, a lip either, because I know that would probably be a question for someone. They say, well, do you got that bump on the front of your countertop? I do not. So there we are. Uh, from that standpoint because I haven't sterilized yet because I just got done brewing a batch and had no idea. I don't care at this point if it's clean inside because I'll clean it before I use it again obviously. And we are at a roughly looks like about a 19 and a half to the top there uh, lip from measured from the inside. Again from the outside probably a little more difficult to Compute from here without drawing a strip stick across maybe another inch or so. Uh, Width-wise, we're looking at about 12 inches. Again, not hugely scientific, but I think we're right about 12 inches in, in overall width. So there you go. Hope that helps you guys. I know some of you guys it's not as accurate as you want, but I did use that guy right there to get us to that point. Hope that helps. Thanks. Like if it helps you. Appreciate it. Bye.